Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we will be answering the question that has plagued many generations of great rollercoaster tycoon players. Why do tired guests drown slower than fully energized guests? Before we answer that question I want to quickly plug my Twitch channel. The reason for the lack of videos is partly that I've been live streaming twice a week on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm CET. If you're interested in that go and follow me on twitch.tv slash Voss. The link is in the description. Ancient rollercoaster tycoon players from the late 90s first noticed that there is a difference in how fast guests drown when they accidentally deleted a stretch of path in the middle of Leafy Lake that still had some guests on it. Despite all the guests falling into the lake at pretty much the same time, some took longer to drown than others. After more than two decades of intense research we have finally found the answer. First we need to talk about the walking speed. In modern games a tired character probably has a different walking animation. They might slouch a bit, stop every now and then to regain some energy and so on. In Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 this is not the case though. This game is far too simple for that. A tired guest has the exact same walking animation as an energized guest. The only reason that they walk slower is that the animation is played at a slower speed. Being sick also makes a guest walk slower. The difference between maximum and minimum energy is about a factor 4 and the difference between sick and not sick is about a factor 2 for a combined factor of 8. Now on to the fun part, drowning guests. During the development phase of Rollercoaster Tycoon, Chris Sawyer originally had the idea of guests that fall into the water swimming to the shore and getting out without any issues. This being the late 90s this turned out to be a little more difficult than he expected and in the end he decided that it was easier to just have a simple drowning animation repeat a few times before the guests disappear under the waves never to be seen again. That's right, thousands of guests all over the world die every day because Chris Sawyer could not be bothered to implement guests swimming to the shore. You might already have correctly deduced the answer to the question in the title of this video now. When guests are tired or sick, not only their walking animation plays slower, but everything plays slower, including their drowning animation. In this comparison we have one fully energized healthy guest, one super tired healthy guest and one super tired very sick guest. You can see that the energized guest drowns the fastest, followed by the tired guest and the tired and sick guest drowns last. Somehow being tired and sick makes you more buoyant or something. Another fun consequence of this implementation is that tired guests fall slower. The Rollercoaster Tycoon universe is a weird place. Being tired and sick apparently lowers the effect of gravity on you. Imagine that in real life. You drive home late from work and you're so tired that you unfortunately fall asleep at the wheel and drive off a bridge into a very deep ravine. Usually this is quite deadly, but because you're tired you fall at such a slow pace that you hit the ground with only about 30 km per hour and apart from a few scratches and bruises you're completely fine. This would save so many lives. And that was it for this video. Now you know a little bit more about the weird physics of Rollercoaster Tycoon. If you liked this video consider giving it a like and maybe even subscribe if you really want to. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video.